Hey, it's Tim from LureAddicts.com. I'm gonna go for a rundown of a new lure which I've just received in the mail through Fish Arrow. Now, Fish Arrow is brought into the country through Searing Tackle, and that's searingtackle.com.au. Uh, they also bring the likes of Dameki and Pontoon 21, which have been really popular with the Brim and Bass guys over the last couple of years. Now, before I go into it, we're not affiliated with Fish Arrow, Searing Tackle, or anyone like that. Um, we just like to get new lures, have a look at them, show you guys what we think of them. Now these, these lures, they're called a cover cicada, and what they are is they're a four and a half centimetre, uh, seven gram or a quarter ounce uh, cicada imitation. They're soft bodied, they are weedless in design, uh, the soft plastic rather than a foam, and, um, and it's also hollow, so all it is is a compression of the lure there, and you're gonna get the hook being exposed. The wings on these, they're uh, also a soft plastic. You can see here, if I fold them back, they're just popping back up into shape. There's no hinges, there's no screws holding these in. Um, so these are gonna be fantastic. Uh, I know one of the local creeks here that I go to is pretty narrow, so always end up putting lures into trees and things like that. I think you're gonna have a pretty good retrieval rate of getting these out, not having to go for a swim, not having to break off 20, $30 here and there, um, especially around reeds. Everyone knows how quickly the trebles get stuck in reeds. So I'll put these in for a, um, for a swim in the pool at home and um, they've got a really great presence on the water. They push a lot of water once they get moving. They do take a little bit of a faster retrieve to, to get it happening, but um, once they're going, they've got a big wobble on them. They create a lot of surface noise and um, yeah, they're gonna be fantastic. With um, size wise, as I said, they're four and a half centimetres. Um, a lot of talk has been going on about these on some of the forums, on Facebook, a lot of hype about them. Um, one issue that has sort of people have raised about them has been with the size of them. Uh, me personally, I think they're a fantastic size. Bass have obviously got quite a large mouth on them designed to inhale things off the surface. And um, I think they come in pretty, pretty much on size with what a cicada is anyway. Um, but what I'll do is I've lined them up next to a couple of some of the other more popular lures um, that are out on the moment that a lot of people have been buying over the years. Uh, on the right hand side you've got the River to Sea Buggy Pop, the uh, Kokoda Bat, the Timeco Softshell Cicada in the middle, the Mega Bass Siglet, and then you've got the two cover cicadas on the left hand side. Now as you can see, there's not a huge difference. Obviously, there is a little bit of difference between the buggy pop, which is quite a small lure, but between the um, soft shell cicada and the Magabas siglet, which are pretty much go-to cicada lures at the moment, um, there's really no great size difference between them. Um, Chris, Wes, and myself will be giving these a good run over the next season. And uh, that's also going to come down to being able to just put these in places that we wouldn't usually throw, say, the, the $35, $40 Siglet or the $20 odd um, Timeco uh, Softshell Cicada. Now, these retail for $19.95 as a recommended retail price. I've seen them in most major outlets at the moment, but they have been getting snapped up fairly quickly. I know that um, Daryl from um, Bay and Basin Sport Fishing has been uh, stockpiling these for his fishing charter for on the Shoalhaven River, um, just because obviously they're gonna be able to get these back. They're pretty inexpensive compared to some of the other ones out there. And um, yeah, I think these are gonna be great. So get out there, have a look for them. They're in the, yeah, the green and yellow packaging and uh, definitely worth having a look at.